CrossFit, GORUCK, and the Step Up Foundation just announced a collaboration that will unite the CrossFit community around the world this Veterans Day to complete Chad 1000X, a hero workout dedicated to Navy SEAL Chad Wilkinson, who died by suicide in October of 2018. Chad's wife, Sarah, the founder of the Step Up Foundation, is here today to talk to us about what this partnership means and why it's such an important initiative. Can you tell us a little bit about the Step Up Foundation, how it came to be, and what is the mission of the nonprofit? Yeah, the Step Up Foundation was started after I lost my husband, Chad, and uh, the workout we're going to talk about today kind of took the world by storm, um, and it led me to this natural progression of starting a nonprofit for veterans who are struggling with um, TBIs, PTSD, or PTS, and blast wave injury. Our goal is to raise awareness to the invisible wounds our veterans see, while also honoring the life and legacy of those who have also died by suicide, so that we can raise money and give that to programs that support um, these specific hardships in our veterans. You mentioned the the, the workout too, um, Chad 1000X. How did how did that workout come to be? How did it come to get programmed? What was maybe kind of the impetus behind the specific program? And, um, and why do you think it, it's kind of caught the world by storm and, and become so popular so quickly? Chad did this to train to climb. So his goal was this hobby alpinist. Um, he's not the only Navy SEAL that had that as a hobby. Many of them did. He would do this in our garage and he was so focused, he would use a projector and he would project Aconcagua, which was the last mountain he climbed on the back of the garage door and push out these step ups because he did a lot of training, but this was one he did consistently to make sure that he was he was ready. He spoke at his memorial. Being in the CrossFit community, as you and I have for many years, there were many CrossFit legends, let's say, in the audience that day. And Dave Castro and Chuck Carswell were a few, and I think they whispered to each other, we should do that workout. <laughs> And they posted about it. And then next thing we know, we did the workout at my home gym in Virginia Beach. And it really just kind of took on this this uh, this mind of its own where people gravitated towards it. And and I think that they do one because, you know, hero workouts or tribute workouts have been a staple in our community for many years. So when something like that is mentioned and a loss is learned in the community, people want to honor the fallen. Uh, this workout specifically, though, is not very technical. It's a lot of volume. It's hard for sure. But it really speaks to anyone in the sense that, you know, barring major injury, um, you can do step ups even if it's on a smaller box. You mentioned the volume, though, and maybe putting your uh, level one hat on, you are a seminar staff trainer. And um, in addition to founding the Step Up Foundation, you mentioned maybe a lower box or some adjustments. What are some ways of uh, adjusting or scaling this for someone who's maybe interested in tackling this, but is a little maybe intimidated at first? A thousand step ups with a 45 pound pack is not for the faint of heart or the 35 if you're a female. As we know, we can lower the weight. Uh, you could choose to even do it unweighted. Body weight is plenty of doing a thousand step ups. You can do it on a lower box. We've even utilized just bumper plates on the ground. Very small, like mimicking almost a curb. I also am a big advocate of having people do this together with partner. So, Tommy, if you and I were going to execute the workout, the box would be between us. I would do a step up and come down. You would do a step up and come down and we would split the work. So 500, 500. The, the beauty in that, too, is, is what this workout stands for. It's, it's not just about Chad. It speaks to also our current veterans that are with us that might be struggling, that need a friend. And so we magnify that even more when we complete the workout with a friend and share the load. The, the, the kind of event side of it is done in partnership with Go Ruck um, and, mm -hmm. and CrossFit. And, and why, why was that partnership such a natural fit for, for Chad 1000X? Well, naturally it's two organizations that, you know, kind of pride and founded themselves on just exercise and fitness and overall health. There's so many reasons we keep returning to a CrossFit gym or the reasons we return to maybe a Ruck club. And 
For many people, it might have less to do with their physical outputs and their exercise returns, but more to do with the community that it's created. And so just to reinforce that concept of, yes, it's a hero wad. Yes, we're trying to honor someone's life and others that have fallen. We're also trying to raise awareness to um, everybody needs somebody. We all need each other. And so why not embed those communities and just make those bonds even stronger? Totally. And, and even building off of that, you know, thinking about the importance of this initiative within our own community um, and, and even outside of that community in the world, um, what, what really stands out to you as to the importance of that and the, the message and uh, things you're trying to convey through this movement and this, this workout? Obviously, we are a veteran based nonprofit and we're going we're working to support veteran programs, but it's it's a bigger message than that. It's that the people that walk in the doors and work out next to you, they might be struggling, too, and they might be having a hard time. I think it's really important that we start to reinforce looking someone in the eye and asking them, how are you doing today? And really wait for that answer, kind of bring that level of humanity back. I know that message resonates with a lot of people. And if anyone's hearing this this interview or is, you know, has heard about Chad and his story and the, the workout and wants to get involved, what are some ways that people can get involved um, and, and support the cause? Go to Chad 1000 X, register, get a patch, get a t-shirt, wear it proudly, show the world that you've completed it, organize a larger event at your local affiliate to raise funds for the Step Up Foundation. If you want to donate directly, you can go to our website, stepupfoundation.org. Once again, everyone, chad1000x.com to, to register, uh, stepupfoundation.org if you want to support the cause as well and donate. Sarah, thank you so much uh, for joining me and taking the time today. Uh, be well and it's good catching up. 